Many discussions have centered around the impressive star alignment known as the Revelation 12 sign, yet few have discussed its precise meanings. The prophecy reads, A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. Let's begin by identifying the woman. Most agree that it's a reference to the constellation Virgo, one of the twelve zodiac constellations visible from both hemispheres. In this, we concur. Virgo, which means virgin or maiden in Latin, is reminiscent of the Virgin Mary, the mother of Christ. A virgin symbolizes purity, order, holiness, health, and a clean slate. Keep these themes in mind. We'll revisit them. Now, let's explore the meaning of the virgin and her crown of 12 stars, approaching it from a Hebrew perspective rather than a Gentile one. In English, we count 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and so on. In Hebrew, they count 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, and so forth. Thus, the number 12 isn't just 12, it's the numbers 10 and 2. Let's delve into these numbers. In ancient Hebrew hieroglyphics, the number 10 was represented as a right arm, a symbol of power and strength. It signifies God, with its planetary correspondence being the sun, a symbol of strength and power. Similarly, let's examine the number 2. In early Hebrew hieroglyphs, it resembled a house, Combining the meanings of 10 and 2 to make 12 could signify a house of God. However, house has broader implications. The moon corresponds with this ancient Hebrew hieroglyph, and another meaning for it is the bride. What's ominous about this sign is that it suggests some disfavor towards the bride of Christ. The covenant, the moon, the current house, is placed beneath the woman's foot in the sky. Being placed underfoot symbolizes revoked status akin to a divorce. This interpretation gains strength when we consider the meaning of the ancient symbol of the feet. The third Hebrew hieroglyph was that of the feet, similar to the Egyptian symbol. An old tale like Cinderella exemplifies the meaning of the feet. Cinderella's story mirrors this symbolism, with her being elevated from mistreatment to a royal bride after fitting the glass slipper. This ties into Bible themes connecting God's people, his church, the Bride of Christ, and Jesus Christ as the Royal Prince. Consequently, the symbolism suggests that God is displeased with the previous covenant body of believers, pushing them underfoot while selecting a more holy figure, symbolized by Virgo, to receive the new covenant. This star alignment is rare, aligning fully with scripture only occasionally. The moon under Virgo's foot, the sun on her, and three moving planets aligning with the Leo constellation above Virgo's head are exceptional. Notable occurrences include 2 BC, 1827 AD, and 2017 AD. Does this interpretation stand against historical events? Let's consider 2 BC, likely the time of Jesus' conception. The sign signifies the transition to the New Covenant marked by Jesus' birth. The Old and New Testaments are interchangeable with Old and New Covenants. Thus, the sign aligns with the transition to Jesus bringing a New Covenant. Now, in the present day, should this sign hold different meaning for us? We'd argue no. While this interpretation might not be popular, it suggests that those claiming to be God's people today are being rejected. Yet, for diligent Bible readers, this isn't surprising. There's mention of remnants whom the Lord will gather into one a unification of people from various churches and faiths awakening to God.